Selena Gomez performs Wool. Taylor Swift wins a CMA and is shot. And Niall just got a modeling contract? All that and more on today's rundown. What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Dirt. Uh, Aaron, the reputation comes out tomorrow. There are some fan theories floating around the web. I want to hear all about them. They're dark. Be prepared. <laughs> um, actually, they're not dark. But um, let's talk about Ed Sheeran first today because his new music video for Perfect is more than perfect. Where's my box of tissues? <laughs> so Ed Sheeran is known for making preciously romantic music videos. And I always kind of think to myself, it doesn't get more romantic than this music video. And somehow Ed always finds a way to outdo himself. And today is no exception. He just dropped his music video for Perfect, which featured Zoe Deutsch as his love interest. And not only is it sweet and romantic, it also has some holiday vibes going on. So the video looks like it's set in the Alps where Ed and his girl crush are visiting with a bunch of friends for a ski trip and the entire time Ed is enamored with her but he's just way too shy to say something until one night when they leave the bar together they head back to Ed's perfect little shack in the snowy mountains where he tells her how he feels about her by singing this song to her which by the way he says in the music video is a song he wrote for her. music video could be more perfect. The snow falling down, <laughs> dancing in the snow. There's a cat in this video. Ed Sheeran's in this video. I mean, could it get more perfect than perfect? He literally is one of the most romantic guys. And I feel like he creates songs that are made for weddings, for romantic date nights, for anniversaries, just everything. everything. And this video makes me so happy. And I definitely got the holiday vibes. And definitely and holiday Christmas vibes. Christmas is right around the corner. I already started watching my Hallmark <laughs> movies, putting up some decorations. I'm ready. Put on the Ed Sheeran music video, and you're Seriously. ready for Santa. Well, Aaron, AMAs are right around the corner. And Selena Gomez has been announced as one of the performers. Yep. And she gave us a little peek inside of her AMAs rehearsal on her Instagram Live. So the AMAs are returning on November 19th, and based on what we've seen so far, we can't wait. So Selena's gone through so much considering her kidney transplant and everything, but despite the struggles she's faced, she's managed to release some chart-topping collabs. And in breaking news, Selena will be performing both of her collabs. I'm talking about It Ain't Me with Kygo and Wolves with Marshmello on Sunday the 19th. And she even let fans into a rehearsal yesterday so we could see exactly what she has up her sleeves. because she's an awesome artist who loves her fans, Selena also answered some fan questions and one fan asked if she was nervous to perform live again. Selena said, quote, I'm nervous it's because I haven't been on stage in a while, but I'm excited. I think that it's always been a place where I share a lot and trust people there and it's such a cool experience. She also dished on some details on her upcoming music video for Wolves, which to be honest, we couldn't be more excited about. She said, quote, I wanted it to feel like it was a really beautiful search and so it kind of has a creepy element to it, but it's very beautiful and it's not very complicated. There's not a lot going on, so it's just kind of me and where I'm singing the song. One thing that I loved about getting the sneak peek behind the scenes is in my mind, Selena Gomez is such a huge star. Yeah. That she's gonna be rehearsing with like a team of people in this epic place. And it wasn't that at all. It was literally in her living room. She was wearing her pajamas. It was very casual. I kind of thought that was interesting. She always did these huge performances and you think to yourself, man, they must have been practicing that yeah. for months. But no, they just sing around in their living room in their underwear. I don't know. I think it'll be a, a, a great performance though. Um, I remember last year at the AMAs, that was when she had like that speech where she was talking about everything she's been going through and how grateful she was for the fans. So it will be nice to see her like take the stage again performing. I wonder if Justin Bieber is gonna go with her. Listen, if Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez walk the carpet, I swear I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. I need you to be on DHR. <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, tonight is the night when Taylor Swift is gonna make our wildest dreams come true. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Like we said, Taylor Swift actually won a CMA last night, which is pretty shocking for us. And according to Taylor's Instagram, it was pretty shocking for her too. She couldn't be at the CMAs this year because she's in New York City rehearsing for SNL. And she was held up in her apartment watching it on television. And the moment that um, it was announced who won Song of the Year, her song won, and this is what happened. <laughs> And the CMA award for song of the year. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Goes to Batman Taylor. So I don't know. 
know if you guys know or not, but Taylor wrote the song Better Man, which was originally recorded by Little Big Town. And I think in this clip, she seemed genuinely shocked that she won this CMA. In other Taylor news, there are some folks out there in the media right now who are claiming that Taylor or possibly her team have been going to extreme measures to keep everything about her album under wraps. So the Sun's Dan Wooten is saying that Taylor allegedly demanded full editorial control over her interviews and that Taylor has become, quote, overbearingly protective of her image. Now these sources went on to say that she doesn't feel like she needs to do interviews anymore to sell albums. I know uh, Press Hilton's Twitter got shut down yesterday or day before because he tweeted out something about her track listing. Right, right. So I can understand where these sources are coming from, but I can also see it from Taylor's side too. This is her big, it's almost like a comeback album for her. Yeah. We haven't heard new music from her in so long. She's a businesswoman first and foremost, and she wants to be in control of her narrative. And I get it, I get it. I don't know if I believe the diva behavior. I feel like her team is really hardcore. Yeah, and uh, you know, we do read your comments sometimes. So after yesterday's um, DHR, I was looking at some of the comments and they were a lot talking about Taylor Swift. And I thought about it because, you know, yesterday I was like, oh, I don't understand why they're getting so hard on Perez Hilton. But I do understand, like, if I had a, <laughs> If I had a project that I was passionate about and I've been working on it for years, and then people were releasing details about it and releasing stuff that I didn't release, I would be kind of upset. You'd be annoyed yeah. too, yeah, totally. Well, speaking of reputation, a lot of Swifties out there have some pretty interesting fan theories based on that track list that hey. was leaked, then Taylor posted it. Um, and it all has to do with her last track. It's number 15 on the list. It's called New Year's Day. Now, a lot of Swifties know that Taylor Swift and Harry Styles dated, I think, back in 2012. Um, they had this New Year's Eve trip planned. Apparently, Taylor left early because they broke up, according to fans out there. Uh, so a lot of people think that this track is actually about her breakup with Harry Styles, but you guys, that was five years ago. To me, that seems like, I feel like she, her whole last album was about Harry Styles yeah. in some way, shape, or form. Is there really another song about Harry Styles on this album? I hope not. I hope she's moved on to other heartbreak stories. I'm just so glad that she's performing it during my favorite show, Scandal. So oh. now I can watch Scandal, get a little bit of T Swift. Uh, I'm gonna be happy. It's a perfect day. But another fan theory about this track, by the way, which I think is the most extreme out there, and I okay. don't really know if I subscribe to this, but fans are saying that New Year's Day, because it's the last track, they think that Taylor Swift got engaged or is planning on getting engaged to Joe Alwyn, and that is like her big announcement track, mm. which I think that's a real big Bit of a stretch, stretch. guys. Bit of a stretch. Aaron, I feel like this is like a music DHR today. I'm All these artists. That. I know. All right, so let's talk about Niall Horn. He had his debut album, Flickr, which is killing on the charts, but um, everybody's talking about Seeing Blind. So Niall is the second member of One Direction to release a full-length solo album, and it's still topping the charts, but the song Seeing Blind quickly became a fan favorite due to its country roots and Maren Morris's feature on the track. Now, he's been performing the song solo on tour, but the duo has never performed the song live together. That all changed last night at the Country Music Awards. During the award show, Marin took to the stage to sing her hit, I Could Use a Love Song. And during the final notes, Niall emerged onto the stage, strumming his guitar, and began to sing, Seeing Blind. Now, Niall tweeted out before the show saying that he and Marin were, quote, super excited, and they couldn't wait to hit the stage. And boy, did they. Check it out. All exciting, Aaron, but there's some other news about Niall. Tell me more. He is gonna be America's, or the world's, next top model because he just signed a modeling contract with Wilhelmina Models, and he's not the only artist who's with them. Shawn Mendes is, Nicki Minaj, and even his collaborator, Marin Morris. So I don't know, what do you think? Um, I love that. I think Niall is super cute. I always have. I'd yeah. love to see him, I don't know, can I request, do a special request for a Calvin Klein ad? Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like I just, can get down with that. I, I feel like that would be an interesting visual. Yeah. You know? This would just be interesting because if he's doing the modeling, maybe he'll start, you know, 
no, acting. No. Acting and, you know. Uh, Writing books, <laughs> poetry. Erin, thank you for, for filling my thoughts this morning. The stars. Because the struggle is real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the first time we've heard Selena Gomez perform Wolves live, but I want to know what you guys thought about it in the comments. Do you like the acoustic vibe of it? And also, what do you think about Taylor winning for Song of the Year? Do you think she was actually shocked? Let us know mm. in the comments section below, and we'll be back here tomorrow. But don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Erin Robinson, at Emil Ennis Jr. Go, do it. Check out the Dolan Twins makeover in that box on the left. Or click to the right to get caught up on Taylor Swift's legal drama with the ACLU.